this, or somebody falls back. Michael, you're like totally in the whole frame, buddy. Oh my gosh. I can do a cartwheel. I did it. Celebratory hug. We did a cartwheel. This is the best dog in the whole world. <laughs> it's already recording. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Hey guys. <laughs> Wait, don't you live in California? <laughs> I just filmed a full-on video about like wedding styles and stuff that I'm looking for for my wedding dress oh my gosh that was fun guys editing I'm sure it's gonna be a lot of fun to input all those damn pictures quick quick mini haul before my camera dies because my camera has been dying I got this really awesome top yellow blue white I got this really cool dress. Okay, what? With hiking boots, let's go. And then last but not least, I got this shirt that says, California, where the beautiful people live. Cause it is factual. There's a baby here. I'll go before my camera dies. I'll see myself out. The bangs are no longer baby anymore. They're like regular bangs now. And I like it and I hate it. Pin them up like this. I can also just kind of brush them to the side. I could also wear them as bangs. But I miss, part of me misses the little baby bangs. They just felt, they just remind me of that summer. But I know that come summer this year, if I keep cutting them and trimming them and maintaining the baby bang, it's gonna piss me off when I'm at the beach and they're just sticking straight up. I went to get a haircut yesterday. I was just getting a trim and the girl that was doing it, I was telling her this like back and forth thing that I have with myself and the bangs. Like, oh, do I wanna keep them? Do I not? Like, do they feel like me? Do they not? I just wanna do whatever feels like the most me in that moment. And she's like, girl, like in the summer when they look like this, it's not worth it. And I was like, you're right, <laughs> it's not worth it. But when they're styled, they look amazing, but they're right. When people tell you like bangs are so much work, you do have to style them. You do have to straighten them, blow dry them forward, put a curler in it, a roller in it. I used to always carry around a Velcro hair roller in my purse. I, I was just going through my purse just now and I saw one of my old Velcro hair rollers and I was like, dude. Immediately my first thought wasn't, oh my gosh, my bangs. My first thought was like, bro, that's that, that was the reality of it. So I think I'm just gonna continue to let them grow out. I haven't done any sort of color treatment to it. I haven't dyed it. I haven't dyed anything to it. I've just been taking care of it. I haven't been doing heat on it. I actually really like this length of it, but I want it to grow to here. And then, that'll be that. I'm gonna go to work. Adrian's birthday's coming up. Still have no idea what to get him. He did mention that he wanted a tattoo for his birthday, so that's like a nice, easy, like I'll just pay for your tattoo. Um, but as far as like what we're doing for his birthday, I think we're gonna go on a hike, which I'm extremely excited about. We, this week, I guess these last three days, it's just been so sunny and beautiful and amazing outside. And I feel like elated. I'm just so happy, like the weather, and I see like everybody online, everybody's vlogs, everybody's just online presence is emulating that same excitement. Like everybody's just happy that the sun is out. As a collective, we're all excited about this. And 
even when it comes to like clothes and fashion like I cannot wait to wear bright colors and you can wear bright colors all year round but it's just like nature inspires us in more ways than we think and when we're so happy about the sun like we want to wear yellow just happens I'm gonna get ready for work I really am craving a spicy udon noodle soup so I think I'm gonna go early and eat I did another good old you stink Please get away from me. Oh my gosh, he smells like dirt. That's totally, that's my fault. I mean, he can't bathe himself. I did a good old back switch. I've been like switching my backs. I don't know what's gotten into me, but I used to use, it's all the way in the room. I'm not gonna grab it. It was just my black St. John's. It had like the silver buckle on it. I was using that for so long and I was like, this is my everyday bag. I mean, it is like a perfect everyday bag. But then I was like, you know what? Like, let's just wear a bag that I really like with whatever outfit I'm wearing. So recently it's been this big slouchy lucky brand bag that looks like a giant baseball mitt. I love that bag too. But when I'm carrying things that should not be jumbled around in a bag like this camera, like you guys, for example, um, it gets a little hectic. So I switched over to my Dooney and B. I haven't worn this bag in ages. I feel like it's been like a couple years almost. I think it's like actually been a couple years, but I got this bag a while ago and I was just thinking that my bag collection has finally been so established that I have no excuse to buy another purse. I have a crossbody kind of like earthy great camping one a woven one like a green one a bag that's just like those like wooden bead bags cute little 1920s antique purse um dude i just have the amount of purses i have i have one for every occasion i have like the one that's made out of like what is it like cord almost where you could take it to the beach. A regular shoulder bag, like a big pink puffer bag. Literally no reason to buy another purse. And so when I'm like switching in between outfits, I have that freaking like little horsey backpack that I could use when I go camping. Like it's, bottom line, we're established in the purses. You guys better not freaking see me buy another purse. If you see me buy one, call me out because I have no need to do that. Also, thank you, a little baby. This is the perfect little cup to measure out your coffee beans in the morning and i don't really finish my mugs of coffee so this is like the perfect little size so that i actually finish it this is my second cup actually so we're doing good um but anyways back to the bag this is her gorgeous what i love about it is that it has a firm bottom and tiny little studs coming out so it doesn't ever really touch the floor it's the perfect size like she's perfect in the bag we've got the book that i've been taking eons to finish reading how to be an adult in relationships i'm now on i'm like towards the middle of the book um i just deleted tiktok off my phone so i've been like struggling to find something to stimulate me now that i've deleted that app that demon app off my phone i'm realizing just how much time i threw away on it and it's kind of like alcohol like some people can drink and some people should not drink some people get carried away i'm one person that gets carried away with that app and everything that i need to get done won't get done so even like the video that I recorded about wedding styles that I like, I only did that because I had nothing else to do. Like I didn't have any time to scroll on that app. Like I didn't have the app to scroll on. So I was able to just like edit it and post it all in a span of three hours. From start to recording to end of editing, it was all done. And that's awesome. I will say one thing that I noticed is my dopamine is like, scrambled completely messed up because i'm constantly needing to be stimulated with something and that i feel like is attributed to the app because i would do it with that like i think i told you guys this before but like i would be fucking driving and i'd be scrolling and now i listen to like youtube podcasts or just listen to music just you know the good old days like 
just regular stuff. Before, like I had to be stimulated by scrolling through that app and it was just like, it was overwhelming. But now that I've deleted it, I feel like, I feel a little bit lighter, dare I say. I could actually set aside time to doing this kind of stuff and like talking and expressing myself. So yeah, good stuff. Uh, but I've been trying to read this more. The whole point of me bringing that up was to say that I've noticed it's been hard for me to keep my attention on one thing. And from the first word of a page to the last word of a page, sometimes I'll have to go back and reread it. I might have ADHD. I think my therapist said I probably do. I need to see a psychiatrist, but um, I think it's because my attention span is messed up too. And the, the app just didn't help pretty much is what I'm trying to say. I will say, now that the app is gone, I noticed that I would use it for things like helpful tips or like how-to videos. Um, when I'm doing like tricep workouts and I would just literally go on TikTok and like watch people do it. Now I can't and I'll have to freaking Google image that shit and it's just weird, but it's okay. I switched over my wallet. The cutest little, the cutest little caterpillar, sleeping caterpillar. There was, I was laying outside today, lying outside today, lying outside, Lay, lying outside, I think it is. Chickens lay eggs, humans lie down. That's how I was taught to remember it. I was lying outside and where was I going with this? Oh yeah. And um, this adorable jumping spider came out of nowhere. So I was like playing with it and it was on my hand and instead of just jumping off my hand, it like spider web dropped. It was so cute. I was like, Bleh. you guys are the cutest insects ever. But this bag is like sturdy and standing up. I can put my camera in it. That was the entire point of me pulling out this camera and recording just now. And it took me seven minutes to say that. I've spent a lot of time outside today. I'm trying to do this thing where I do a cartwheel every day until I cannot do it anymore. Um, I saw this video and it said that one day you wake up and you realize that you haven't jumped since you were a child, that blew my mind. Because I don't think I've jumped since, well, after I saw that video I jumped, but I don't think I've actively thought about jumping or actually jumping in years. So now I'm thinking cartwheeling is practically jumping and the how-to video that I saw of the guy showing how to cartwheel, he was saying, sometimes you just wanna go upside down. And that's so true. Sometimes you just want to go upside down. So, yeah. I saw that video and I learned how to cartwheel and then I, I went and I had to show Aaron how to do a cartwheel. And I was telling Adrian, like, do you want to learn how to do a cartwheel? Because it's not hard to do a cartwheel. It's just kind of scary to do a cartwheel at first. But then it's so much fun. Like now, every time we take the dogs out on a walk and we're on the grass, I'll take my flip flops off and I'll do a cartwheel. Because, and I'll do a few cartwheels. I'll actually see how many I could do in a row. I've gotten to five. But you really have to commit. Like, once I do five, I'm starting to get tired, so I won't commit on the sixth, and then I feel like I'm just gonna fall over. Um, but I wanna do cartwheels. Like, it is, having a physical goal is honestly one of the most fun things you could do. Um, like, my goal of doing the splits by summer, I'm really close. I've been doing a lot of, like, I do intuitive stretching before and after every workout. So it's helped a lot. I haven't needed to like put aside time in the morning to just stretch because I just do it in the morning after a workout. Cause sometimes you're like, oh, I'll just stretch when I wake up and then you don't do it. But I've been doing it. And my, my flexibility has gotten so much better. I wanna do the splits by summer. I want to get back into frisbeeing. Like maybe two summers ago, Adrian and I had like this hyper fixation on frisbeeing frisbee throwing throwing the frisbee dude we would not stop like we were like okay let's go to the park and frisbee and i would be playing till my face was red i thought that that was a great game for endurance because even though you're not doing like a bunch of running you're pretty much running and i would always ask adrian to throw it like far so i could run and catch it so since i really want to be in shape to do that i want to start doing like stairmaster and a lot of endurance training now and i think it's called um 
hybrid training when you do strength training and also something that gets your heart rate up and moving and some sort of endurance movement endurance training that's hybrid training i believe i want to get into jump roping that's another great one and stand i can do a headstand sort of but i want to do a handstand a handstand would be really cool then you could walk around i've been good at keeping my goal of drinking more water has been king i've been on it i've been on it and i've been seeing progress it's cool it's cool to see progress on things that like you you wanted to do and you're doing it i was watching one of my old vlogs which i don't know if i've told you guys this before but i re-watch my old vlogs because I mean, I make these videos to look back on, but I, and I do be looking back on them. Like I will literally rewatch all of them. And at the end of one of my vlogs, I put a quote, of course I cannot remember who said this, but they said, my religion would be a gentle faith in the sacredness of leisure. Round of applause that I put that in a vlog because I would have never remembered that quote now, but I love it. I'm totally gonna reincorporate that again. I don't know if it's something about the sun being out that it just makes us yearn for leisure. I don't know why that is, but like, as soon as the sun is out, I just wanna sunbathe and I just wanna just, I just wanna like lay out. When you think of like a nine to five, like an eight hour work day, it sounds unnatural because it feels unnatural. But when I think about a six hour work day, it feels super doable and I don't feel burnt out at all. That's my two cents on work. I don't mind working. I, I actually love working. I love connecting with people. I think my job makes it to where I, I love to work, but I just don't love to watch the sun completely escape me all day and I never got a minute to enjoy it. I want like my sacred leisure time and then my work time. I have been watching more YouTube videos and I love it. I love watching YouTube videos because I feel like I, I get fed so much more about somebody's complete thought instead of it being cut off at three minutes or one minute and then hearing everybody's discourse about it in the comments. Everybody that I subscribe to on here has their platform set up to where they can give, you know, their entire thesis and then some. They don't just say a sentence or two and then hate on somebody and then leave. Yeah, I don't know. The internet is such an odd place. But I love it. I love the internet. I love also seeing, going back and seeing how I used to think and how I think now. A lot of it is still the same, surprisingly. Maybe that's because I was posting and I was already 21 or something when I started this channel. It's only been like two years. Um, so my ideas haven't changed too much. But um, some stuff has changed, I would say. And it's so funny because I see my energy shift through videos because I, sometimes I have like peak energy and then I'm just like dead. Why did the video just cut out? The video just cut off for no reason. Maybe that's a sign, I gotta go. It's raining. What is going on? Well, this is spring. This is just like, this is spring in California. This is spring everywhere. It rains and then it's sunny and it's, it's kind of awesome because then like, you know, you never get bored. It's like you, it's so unpredictable. Like today I didn't bring an umbrella. So I have to walk to work and I'm parked way over here. So I get to walk all the way there and then be sopping wet by the time I make it to the door. But I kind of like it. I was listening to this new EP by Hosier. Is that how you say it? Hosier? Um, my sister used to listen to his music back in 2014 and I was always clowning her because I didn't get it at the time. I just did not, I didn't get, I didn't get it. And then I started listening to it like within the last few years and I'm like, I think I get it now. I'm so late, but I mean, better late than never. And he released this new EP and it's freaking awesome. It's so awesome to listen to it when it's raining outside. Like, it was hitting. I was just driving like, dude, I get it now. Um, but anyways, I'll show you guys what I packed for Brecky. Adrian put me on to Kiefer. Like, and when I say I was put on, I mean like put on as of like the last two hours. I was put on. So this is hazelnut French Kiefer. 
I had to look up what kefir was. I knew it was good for you. I kind of knew it was a probiotic, but I didn't know how amazing it is for your body. We've got, um, the kefir was from a farmer's market. Same with all the little veggies, veggies, fruit. All of the fruit and the kefir is from a local farmer's market. Um, chia seeds, oat milk, and a little bit of agave, kind of sugary, to be honest. Um, and then we've got some raw sliced almonds to add some texture. But I had some rice this morning and it was good, but I needed something else to fill me up. This is gonna be perfect. I've got my water bottle. We're a little bit behind on the time. It's about to be 11.30 and I'm supposed to be down there. But it's okay, we'll catch up. I've got my protein shake for later. Whenever I work a double or whenever I work dinner shift and I haven't had my protein shake yet, I'll bring it so that I make sure that I eat it. And I went to the gym this morning. I hit it so freaking good. Those There's certain days where I just experiment a little bit more and try something new. And um, that's why it's so fun to have like friends at the gym that will encourage you. And one of my friends, he was like, dude, like, just that machine's taken, just started deadlifting and I hadn't deadlifted in so long. So I kind of was a little bit apprehensive about the form and everything. And he was just helping me through it. He guided me on some cues and then there happened to be a personal trainer nearby. And he's like, let me ask her for you. Like, let's have her watch your deadlift form. It was just so awesome, like super cool. And so I did that, but I didn't have enough time to roll out afterwards. And I forgot to bring a tennis ball so that I could roll out at work against a wall, like on my legs. So I'm a little bit nervous. I know I'm going to feel it. My muscles starting to cramp up and get sore by the end of the day, probably late evening. And then I'll definitely feel it in the morning. Also, I hurt my left lat. I don't know what I was doing, but I hurt it. So I don't know, but I'm gonna go into work, crank this out. It's raining, so I don't know if it'll be busy, but I'm just gonna have a positive attitude, drink some water, eat my brekkie, and have a great ass day. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later.